I'm Alicia. And I'm Mel. And we are Work For Your Beer. Oh, I can't even see my... <laughs> so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we are here tonight uh, co-hosting with John and Harrison this Drinking Socially Live, the new Untapped TV series, so that you, as you untapped from home, still feel like a part of, you know, the usual craft beer community that you'd be, you know, hanging out in if it wasn't a global pandemic. Yeah, you know, a little bit. It's been a little bit different lately, but little. Alicia and I are so stoked to be here. Super if you stoked. guys haven't heard of Work For Your Beer, welcome. We like working out and drinking. And we basically work out so we can drink beer because exactly. we believe in finding a healthy balance and not sacrificing the things that you love completely. Um, finding ways to kind of have the good things and the hard things together. Exactly. And uh, we're here tonight to go through a couple of fun beer yoga moves and then a little bit of some beer fitness using uh, growlers and cans as weights. So Absolutely. we've got a fun little show tonight. We're super excited. So I am going to walk you through some beer yoga poses. You're going to be using an open can of beer while we do these poses and drinking, which should make it at least a little more enjoyable if you haven't actually done yoga before or if you're feeling just a little stressed or tense. You know, it adds a little bit of zhuzh. And then I'm going to kick your butt a little yeah. bit with some abs, arms, and legs uh, using all the things that we talked about before. So Exactly. And basically, we're going to teach John and Harrison, who just told us that they haven't worked out in roughly seven years, uh, how to walk through these. So we'll do some easy, moderate, and challenging poses throughout the evening. But, you know, if you're just at home enjoying some beers, just say hey to us in the chat. Um, yeah. Just We're happy that you're here. Watch um, us be goobers, you know? That's, that's kind of what we do. Mostly our vibe. Um, yeah. And be sure to follow us at Work For Your Beer on Instagram if you want more of our shenanigans. So yes. without further ado, I hope that we'll bring John and Harrison in. Come um, on in, guys. I hope they'll come hang out with us. The water's fine. I heard they're very excited to work out. Yes. Look at them. Look at them go. Good. That's good. a good. Ready to go. So scared to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all, honestly? You're, you're going to do great. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, so I think we want to talk about our beers real quick. And yeah. I've been hyping up this beer to Alicia all day. I'm super curious. This is Fritter and Waste. And this is a collab between Newgrass and Divine Barrel. And I want to make sweet love to this beer. It tastes like <laughs> all in your mouth. It is so good. So it says it's an apple fritter sour ale with apple puree, bourbon oh. fired cinnamon sticks, and yellow cake batter. That sounds like an ice cream. Were they confused? What? It's so good. Wow. It's so good. I'm super jealous. Mm. Um, meanwhile, we recently worked on a blog post in collaboration with Untapped uh, that I'm not sure if it's live yet or not, but should be coming soon. If you're here, I guess you get a sneak peek maybe. Um, it's the low-cal beers that you can enjoy without the guilt. So I'm enjoying a low and hazy from Appalachian Mountain Brewery in uh, Boone, North Carolina. It's a nice pretty can, and it's only got like 122 calories. So... You know, working for our beers over here. What about you guys? What are you drinking? Yeah. John? Okay, I'll <laughs> go first. Thanks, Harry. Um, <laughs> this one's called Moon Nectar, and it is an 8% fruited sour. Uh, if Moon Nectar doesn't do it for you, it's graham cracker. It's uh, to celebrate a local brewery, brewery's second birthday here in Wilmington. Graham cracker, but this is the kicker, triple berry. It's red mm. as heck. I feel like I'm getting healthy enough where I might not even have to work out with you girls tonight. I'll just keep drinking this. All of those <laughs> antioxidants. Right. So good for you. Right. And I, yeah, so I went, I, and I just went with a classic, new classic. I just, I'm sequential from Dogfish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Again, low cal. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, just uh, since we're working out, why not get something refreshing? That'd be tough drinking anything, I think, heavier than this tonight. But we'll see, because uh, some of you guys are. Those will be great. Yeah, right? I pounded one of those after a Warrior Dash race, and it right. was yeah. well-deserved. Absolutely. So, great choice for your workout beer. Harrison right. and I are clearly on the same page here. Uh, while John and Mel went a different way, I salute you, know? you both, honestly. We'll see. Cool. We'll see what happens next. Well, cheers, y'all. Cheers. cheers. Oh, yeah. In here. Now we're gonna bring our beers with us over to our mats and we'll get started with some yoga. You ready? Right. Matt, are you guys ready? I so, hope so. I, I, I guess so. Know. Oh, yoga. we forgot to talk about the ballroom that we're in. Oh, sure. 
We till. All right. Great. Yoga. Sure. I've heard of that. That's like the, the yogurt, right? The, um, the yoga doesn't. Yo uh, good. And doesn't... here's the trick, Harry. We lost our instructor. So you've <laughs> yoga before, right? Yeah. I've, yeah. Actually, I do it all the time with the kids. We can start with uh, the, the chug, Neil. No, just kidding. The. Uh, wow. <laughs> <in> the <bed. laughs> You're too excited about the ballroom we were in that we just shut the computer off. <laughs> Classic yoga move. The old shut the downward facing computer, right? <laughs> um, we're in this ballroom at the hotel that we're staying at. And now I'm scared. You good? I'm scared. It's okay. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to begin seated. Ease into things, if that sounds good to you guys. Perfect. That's it. Sit uh, what you might call crisscross applesauce. Uh, and try to ground your sits bones, so the bones in your butt, to the ground. And move like the fleshy bits away. Some of us have more than others, myself included. Um, move that out of the way. This is called easy seat. So just easy pose, soup to bada canasta. We're gonna put our hands at our heart center here, Anjali Mudra. We're gonna turn our beer holes to our mouths. <laughs> Deep breath in together. Sigh it out. And take a big sip of that beer. Wow, I slurped hard on that one. Sure did, same here. <laughs> We're going to do two more deep breaths, and then we'll move into our first uh, moderate posture, I would call it. So one more deep breath in, side out, and one more. All right. Sorry, so, I drank on that one instead. That's okay. Do what feels right to you in the moment. Follow your journey, if you will. So now what we're going to do is take your left leg and stretch it out full length in front of you. You want your toes to be flexing toward your face, so almost like you're standing on an imaginary wall in front of you. Okay. You're going to have your right knee um, up, toward your, up toward your face, have your foot flat on the ground, and then just take that whole situation across your left leg. Yes. Oh, I don't know. This is All right. Really John, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, guys. Uh, so what we're going to do now is, here's good news. Grab your beer. Ah, it's behind me. This is now an expert, <laughs> an expert move now. I need an assistant. <laughs> so what we want to do is take the right elbow, hook it in front of the left knee, and just do a gentle twist. So reach What's your that? left fingertips behind you. What? And try to go nice and tall. What's Let's do it. Sigh it out, Ugh. and then take a sip of your beer. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to do one more breath here. And then we'll unwind and do this on the other side. So right leg stretches out this time. If you hit this one, it'll crack your entire spine, and I love that. Yeah. <laughs> crack your back. That's a goal. Cool yeah. uh, so pull that leg in. Cross it over the right. You're going to take your left arm, hook your left elbow in front of your right knee. Stretch yourself a little bit. Crack it all up. Crack it if you can. And if not, drink that beer you cracked open, you know? Oh, God. This is One more breath here. And unwind. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you didn't like that, you might not like this. I am so <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do here, ground down through those sits bones again. And you want to kind of start to lean back a bit just until you start to feel it in your low belly. You're going to chin up parallel to your mat. Oh, God. Both of them? Yep. You guys got this. We're only going to do three of these, so we'll be quick. Grab your beer here, hold oh. it at your heart center, and then we're going to lean all the way down to the mat. Oh, God. <laughs> and back up and take a sip. Do it one more time. How's it feeling, guys? Yes. 
<laughs> it's like you're tricking me into doing a sit-up. <laughs> and one more. Ready? Oh. And release. Yeah. That's How'd that feel, guys? I feel good. I got to remember to swallow my beer before I go back, Ooh. though. That's almost a mess. <laughs> but we're, I'm figuring it so out. So glad we're done. That was that wasn't <laughs> even that hard. <laughs> Warm up, don't you think? Oh. Uh, yes. We're going to stand up and we're going to do a couple of standing postures before we move into the beer workouts. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Here, kind of hop it out a little bit. And um, yeah, we're going to have our beers here. We're yeah, going to okay. come back at better. And what we're going to do, if you want to turn this way to demonstrate, see the alignment. Uh, absolutely. So we're going to do chair pose, which is a fun yoga way of saying we're going to squat and do a wall sit. So deep breath in. On your exhale, squat down and check your alignment. You don't want your knees to be ahead of your toes. So you yep. really want to as much of your weight as possible into your heel and breathe. Yep. Let's take a sip of that beer. Keep breathing. Let's see if we can sink a little deeper. Well, oh. <laughs> would be, uh, or your thighs rather, would be parallel with Matt. Okay. So one more sip. I don't know if our insurance covers this, John. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back up. <laughs> out, shake those legs out. It's getting wow. hot in here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Right. Uh, <laughs> my fan on. There you go. <laughs> some of these so, open a wall. We're going to move from some of these more strength building postures into some balancing postures. So Ooh. let your left foot really grow heavy on the ground. And uh, kick your right toes. So you have your right toes growing very light on the ground. And then you're going to draw your knee up like it's on a marionette string. So from here, either put your foot on your shin or pull it up to your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick with shin. And uh, this is honestly most of the pose. If you want, you can grow your branches up high Ooh, or just chill, or just drink your beer and really probably don't look at the screen because we'll make good. you fall off. You guys look so Good you guys look great. I'm so impressed. It's trees. You want to be careful. Every day for lunch, one hour of tree. Right. You want to make sure you don't put your foot on your knee is the only thing to know here. We're not trying to break knees. Exactly. Oh, so, okay. I'm, okay, let me recenter. <laughs> <laughs> so now release that back down to the mat. Shake your legs out a little bit. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So let those right toes go really heavy on the mat. And then light on the left toe to extend that foot up like it's on a marionette string. And then bring it to your shin or your thigh, just not your knee. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. The hardest part is breathing, honestly. honestly yeah. Uh, if you fall, breath. completely fine. It's, except, it's expected. Yes. You should fall at some point. In fact, a lot of the time. Thank you. Raise your arms until you fall. Exactly. That is totally cool. Grow those branches. Take some sips of beer. Got a fan to contend with. And okay. down. Fan's going to win. So now we're done with tree pose. This last pose is the most challenging of this whole <laughs> Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right. So the pose that we're going to do is called dancer. So the first thing you're going to do, again, is let your left foot really ground into the mat and then like you're doing a quad stretch you're going to lift up your right leg and grab it with your right hand got it Option sure is if this already feels really good or you can begin to lean forward and Whoa. lift your back leg up wow yeah how do you do it and stay so still right if you're a real daredevil, you can take a sip of your beer. I don't know that I can. Oh, no, challenge accepted. 
you want to go, keep holding it, and then without swinging, let's try to let it go. It's so hard to drink it now. I know, man. <laughs> we call it Tipsy Dancer. For tipsy Dancer. Absolutely. Because beer. Because beer. <laughs> and because you tip your teapot forward, so to speak. So we're going to do that again on the right side. So let your right toes grow heavy. Kickstand those left toes. Top on that quad. Stretch. And oh, nope, I'm gonna fall. Well, we have drank a little bit. Okay, you're, you're working. All right, keep going forward if you would like. Otherwise, enjoy that quad stretch. Whoops! Ah, I have an open oh flame God. in this room. I shouldn't have should have put that. My camera. right leg is like perfectly balanced. My left leg is totally off. Yeah. Okay, we'll have one better side and one worse side for sure. Yep. Yeah, oh. you're. Third, yeah. You're, yeah, it's because your third chakra is in the moon house, John. That's why. Of course. <laughs> All my chakras are on the moon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was that was your beer yoga. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's talk about how that feel. I feel well. well. Yeah. Woo. Okay. You want that? <laughs> uh, feel alive. Ready? Because. Now it's workout time. Yeah, now right. it's, I was hoping we were going to drink the growler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, For sure. Uh, this is going to be your weight, whether it's full or empty, doesn't matter to me. Uh, but we're going to do abs, arms, and then legs. And so we're going to start with abs. So we can sit down, which is a lot of fun. I'm doing this way now so that okay. no one looks back on us. Yeah. We go. Stop better butt. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. So we're gonna lay all the way back. You guys have probably heard of a sit-up before. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do sit-ups. Just make sure that your back isn't like weirdly arched here. You want it planted uh, into the ground here. And you're gonna use your growler here. We're gonna do a sit-up and a press. So here's an example up and press. All right. just bad because you know I'm trying to get you guys into shape. And seven years, right? Okay. At least seven years. I think the last time I worked out was 2000. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, our this is for everybody. We like to say it means people in. And you guys are doing great. Cool. How many do we have left now? We have two, I believe. But honestly, I stopped doing it. So I have it in my head. So this is fun. Yay. <laughs> Great. Uh, growler. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to shift into our arm movements here. We have curls. So if you have like man hands like I do, you can really grab that <coughs> growler. Yeah. It. Otherwise, you can loop your thumb in here. We're doing curls, just basic curls. So we're going to do five on one side and five on the other, uh, just for a quick demo. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Ready? One. This is really gonna pump up your guns, guys. Yep. Oh yeah. These are the glamour muscles, I believe. Uh, all right. Here. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Well, this is the good. Oh yeah. There we go. Are you feeling the burn or are you feeling the beard? Do you guys have like super super big biceps now? That's I feel like I don't have to work out again until, I don't know, 2030. This is doing great. <laughs> once a day. All right, we're going to get some legs. Once a day. <laughs> Squats. If you have a mat leg, like, to this here. You can put your legs just outside of the edge. Otherwise, uh, just make sure they're wide with your toes pointing out. Like we're going to use the growler as like a point of stoppage here. So we're going to go down like you're sitting in a chair. And then back up, and you're going to squeeze your butt. That's how you get the peach. Doing those peach Two, emojis. Three. How are you guys feeling? You feeling good? I would love a peach emoji. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole orchard. Oh. <laughs> I did you guys bad. She does bad. But it's great. Okay. All right. So that was our abs, arms, and legs with a growler. Now you guys have two uh, tall boys, pounders, whatever you call them. 16 ounces. We're going back to abs. Wait, guys. wait, Look. real quick while we breathe a bit. Can we talk about what we're using as weights? Yeah, so I have um, bright ass tank top, which is a key lime barrel aged goza. 
from uh, Unknown. And the reason I have this is because Unknown Brewing in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. <laughs> so they did a, a deal that was 24 of these for $24. Oh. And it goes up. It's so I, said, I guess I could use these as weights and also drink them. Yep. The bag. I have Star Hill Breweries Ramble On Juicy IPA, which is one of my favorites. They're out of Virginia. Um, what about you guys? What do you have? Oh boy. I've got Barrel Age Narwhal and Black is Beautiful in my left hand. We're doing a little mix up today. Um, <laughs> and I love that you're giving me some time to catch my breath. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Take the break. <laughs> John's doctor thanks you. And I chose light beers hoping they'd weigh less, but that's dumb. I have Primetime Kolsch from Hopfly, uh, North Carolina, and then Don't Hurry, Be Happy from Casita. Just opened a brewery, their own brewery, finally after Chipsy Brewery forever. So two, uh, a Kolsch and a lager. And yeah, ready to go. Let's do it. Right. Oh, I hardly know her. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to lay down again. It's a nice little rest, right? No. Nope. So we're going to take a seat right above our head. Feel free to flex. Oh. One can per hand. We're going to do toe touches. We'll just do five of them. You know, we're weaning. We're weaning into this. Oh, yeah. touches? Yeah. And you're going to lift and you're going to touch your toes. What? Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's it's harder because I'm tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Long legs. My girdle's getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys are looking good. Wow. All right, we can wrap that one up. You got some abs burning right now. Yeah. That's the least of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one ab burning. We're getting our very own six pack. Oh my god! All right, so we're gonna do uh, shoulders now. Okay. You might. This seems like a lightweight to do this with. Well, do it for a minute and then tell me that we're, we won't do it that long. But we're gonna raise them straight in front of us here, and we're gonna do little circles. And you're gonna. Ah. Do, this is weak. Until you keep doing. Them. In which case. Your shoulders should start to burn. <laughs> this is a bar move, right? Yes, I learned this in pure bar when I said two pound weights. What a joke. And then I died. Uh, <laughs> I learned this when I got in trouble in the army. I sure do, Mel. I feel it burn. This is good. Feel it. Lower small boat. Feeling the burn there. Now, last but not least, oh, I forgot. The thing about lunges is I hate them, but they're very good for you. So we're gonna do a lunge and a curl, and we're just gonna do two on each side, just you know, so you get a feel for it. You're gonna take a big step forward, drop your knee down as low as you can, and then curl. And then you're gonna step all the way back and do the other side. Boom. And it's huh. hard to not look at what my form looks like in the camera. Wow. Hard <laughs> and sweat. Great. We're done, right? Whew. Okay, guys. That was the, the work for your beer sampler, if you will. Guys, you did it. It worked for your beer. I did it. So we're coming back to our chairs now so that we can have a cool down. We're not going to shut Ooh. off the computer. I'm going to have Alicia move it. <laughs> I swear to you, I told Mel it was a touch screen. Ooh, yeah, but you know, oh. just... <laughs> Okay. That's that's like real sweat happening on this face. Oh, okay. I get I get the really cute mustache sweat. Oh, Love that. Ah, same. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's how they grow. Meanwhile, Ooh. you know, my hair is doing its thing. We're here. We're doing great. Everyone looks great. I feel great. That? I feel I feel I feel amazing. I feel wow. like I lost 10 pounds or something. I don't know. Maybe emotional weight. I feel like I am now just more in the moment and because yeah. that's all I can think about because I'm breathing so hard. <laughs> yeah. I was releasing bad memories from the 80s as I was doing that twist. Yeah. 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 Every yoga instructor I've ever had says your hips carry trauma. So if you ever cry in a twist, you're not alone. Yeah. I think that's what was happening to me. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> emotional. At once. That's how I work. Yep. Yeah. 
That was great. That was you so much fun, though. Great. Yeah, thank you, thank you, guys. That was a that was a blast. I'm feeling. I know John, I'm going to let John catch his breath, and I'll talk for a moment. But I'm feeling. <laughs> Feeling good, feeling groovy. Is anyone out there in the comments? Have you guys been going along with this? Is anyone having a like, you know, have anyone stuck on the floor and need assistance? What's uh, what's happening out there in the, the interwebs? God, I hope <laughs> someone did it with us. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, a lot of people out there drinking a lot of fun beers, though. Well, um, so we thought it would kind of be fun next to do just did like a, a killer physical workout. Maybe we do a little bit like of a mental workout, a quick little yeah. hot seat like this or that type thing. I know you guys do it a lot on your Instagram. So John and I kind of threw some Ooh, some easy ones together just to run through with y'all right now. And uh, and yeah, kind of just get some hot takes on some cool things. So I can start. Let's do um, it. So I'm this ready. one. All right. So let's. So we just worked out, obviously. And this one's maybe more of a story. Um, but, uh, and then we'll get into more traditional this and that's, but like, what's the hardest workout you guys have ever done off the top oh of your head? Gosh. Man, like there's, said, yeah. There's so many. Uh, I'm going to cool. say for me, it was the first time that we did aerial silks. Uh, Mel and I got invited out to uh, Silk's yoga class at this okay. studio called Air Fit in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it is just a completely different situation. You're used to how your body exists on the earth, like planted with gravity and all the normal things. Right. And then suddenly you're in the air and part of you weighs a lot more and part of you weighs nothing at all. And you have to recalibrate. Right. And right. man, that was a core workout and a half. That was crazy. Yeah. That, I remember doing that and being so anxious for going to be like, what if we can't do that? And I want to let you know, like we killed that workout. I like, thought we did. It great. was terrifying, but we did yeah. all the things. But yeah. everyone else did. Um, mine, I think I did soccer growing up and we did like really intense conditioning. And the one that I remember specifically was a speed training where they attached a parachute to your back yeah. and then sprinted as fast as you could. And then they had a bungee cord that they attached you and one other person to. Oh, no. And they made you run. Yeah. I passed out one time. It was like in the dead heat of summer. And then I was like, I, I didn't feel love like, that. I feel like <laughs> parents these days would be like, <laughs> No, I yeah. think they're even more hardcore now. Like, <laughs> what I mean? Right. Like, oh, it was a time. Lord. That's right. Oh, cool. Question from Samantha. She's got a question for you both. How long have you been doing this for? So Mel and I um, founded Work For Your Beer in December of 2016. Sorry, Sorry. Mel, timer we, is going We set off. a timer <laughs> to make sure we were on time, which we're clearly not. So we tried it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you are. Perfect time. You're presenting it. Yeah. We are, but not well today, apparently. Um, but yeah, we launched the business in 2016. Um, and it's gone through a couple of different iterations because the craft beer community has evolved and so its needs have evolved and so have we. So it started as a directory of brewery fitness workouts that were already happening. Then we hosted classes for a while and now we're much more focused on creating content around the topics of health and wellness, booze, and then travel. So just kind of maturing as yeah. as the craft beer community matures or as i like to say pivot pivot <laughs> <laughs> that's good those, yeah that's those are the three the bedrocks of anyone's life booze and traveling and health that's pivoting and then pivoting yeah, right? Plenty of pivoting, Adapting, constantly. growing yes. evolving that's Doing it and the things okay who the go-to beer? Such a good question. Honestly, I've been drinking so many porters. And it's funny because when Mel and I started this business in 2016, we would always say, we're porter and stout gals. Like that was whatever, for whatever reason, that was the terminology we chose. And we only say the word gal pertaining to our beer taste. But now I'm an IPA gal. And, and I'm a sour gal. Right. Um, yes. But I've gotten back to my roots of porters. So I've been drinking, um, you know, the black boot porter from Deschutes is like classic indicative of the style. Yeah. Anything that tastes similar to that has been like warming my soul. Yeah. So I was in uh, Cleveland this past weekend and all the breweries there have Christmas ales. And that's not like a big thing in yeah. Charlotte. Ooh, and right. so 
I drank the crap out of some Christmas ales while I was there, and we brought a bunch back mm -hmm. uh, so that we have some. But man, Charlotte, we gotta create some more Christmas Wild. ales. What are we doing? Yeah, it but doesn't so get cold soon enough here. Right, it's cold in Cleveland in July. Fair <laughs> <laughs> point. It's very it's fair true. point. Back. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Great Lakes Christmas Ale out of Cleveland is like one of the most consumed Christmas beers, one of the most drunk beers in Ohio. So yeah, it's the kind of, kind of known for it. So glad you got yeah. some from the source. That's great. Yeah. We had a, uh, we brought back a 12 pack of uh, Great Lakes. So yeah. nice. That's, it. That's the one. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, let's do some actual hot seat this or that then. I think John has a couple lined up. This will be fun. John, what's, what do we got first? Uh, okay, so you're at a brewery. Pint or flight? Flight. That's what I thought. And if anyone follows you guys on Instagram, that was obvious, but wanted to get it out there. Yeah, <laughs> Start with I mean, balls. Yeah, I mean, we have a series called We'll Take the Lot, where literally we post full videos of us drinking a flight of every single beer on a tap list. Love it. Uh, so yes, we always do a flight. We want to taste everything. Even if we're certain, like I want an IPA, you want a sour, we surprise ourselves. Oh. We find stuff we would never have ordered that's actually incredibly delicious. It's so fun because my palate has changed changed dramatically in the last it's year. It's maturing. It is matured. Yes. <laughs> uh, from being like that IPAs to being like, ooh, this tastes a little juicy. So yeah. we're getting there. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, you got What about something tougher, Harrison? That was too easy. All right, this one might start uh, a serious war in the comments, but and maybe on screen, waffles or pancakes? Waffles, pancakes. Her dog's name is Pancake. I have a, a dog named Sir Pancake Bacon Fox is his full name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is a large corgi and he is, you know, he's he, precious. He dresses as a pancake for Halloween. Like, of course. I cannot pick pancakes. I am, on the other hand, Basically, Leslie Nope. And so, if I could have <laughs> every single meal, I yeah. absolutely would. I will say they hold syrup way better. I agree. You know? Yeah. Yep. I like waffles too. I just, it's like you know. a whole plate of dishes for your syrup. I mean, how are you going to not choose that? That's, <laughs> yeah. I, no, exactly. That's what I, that might Time to get another dog. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. What else, John? There's a couple other ones we have here that are kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to piggybacking off of that milkshake or Sunday milkshake for me. Am I allowed to say ice cream cone? I would get an ice cream cone. It okay. wasn't I, in the options, but I'm not going to argue I about it. I would, I would agree with that. Cause okay. I think we, we both worked at ice cream shops growing yep. up. We did. So like Before we knew each other. We know the goods of we the ice do. cream trade. Also, the ice cream <laughs> scooping is what gives you that big yeah. bicep on one arm. We it's call great. it scooper's arm. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> but no, I have a milkshake. I like a milkshake. Yeah. Particularly milkshake. when you add booze to it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, that was easier than I thought. You're right. Oh, sorry. No, good. Good. Do um, we have any hard ones, Harrison? We probably don't. These were just kind of... Hey, okay, I've got a good one that we can... We're going to pivot uh, and... and We'll see what stories this brings up, but what is what's what is scarier? Uh, let's say now or as a kid, what is scarier, the attic or the basement? Basement, attic. Oh, my basement was for sure haunted. At my well, house. our basement, our basement was <laughs> and so like when you hung out in the basement, it was like we're in the cool kid area. Whereas our attic was absolutely terrifying. It was like one of those ladders that pulled out of the ceiling that it had to like stack on itself with like the tiny steps where yes. you're like all die going tiny up there. tiny steps and then it's like not even floors up there it's just that right. pink insulation oh yeah. i feel like yeah the basement for me i feel like that was where we hung out all the time but you know when i turned off the lights i sprinted up the steps absolutely right. you had to you couldn't no one's ever touched the top step of their basement the top three steps the basement steps they just jump from you know the middle of it up Get to the top yes. into the light as soon as you're in the light you're safe Exactly. Right. It's it's like how monsters from under the bed can't get you if the blanket's covering your foot. It's like a very specific rule. <laughs> right. That's Everybody right. knows it though. Obviously. The monsters should change tactics. They should pivot. Get in like I the light game. They can do better. Their numbers would skyrocket. I know, right? They <laughs> that'd be oh man, that's a whole Hopefully they're not listening. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> right, exactly. The monsters I still live head. by keep it under the blanket, you'll be safe. I need to right. I need that I to sleep say. at night. About four percent of our followers are monsters, so I mean they're definitely watching. You know, just watch out. 
All right. Okay. We have one more, John. We can we can finish up with this. Is great. Um, if you're thinking of what I'm thinking, Harrison, this is not a this or that. It is a what is your worst habit? Okay. Perfect. Ooh. How how real do we want to get here? So I have so okay. many bad okay. habits. Are um, we asking Alicia or are we asking my husband? Because they're different. I would give the answer <laughs> than you would, I'm sure. Um, okay, mine, and I'm going to say this because Andrew tells me so often, which is my husband, and if he's watching, I hope he'll confirm, it's that I only want to have a deep conversation after we've said goodnight and are prepared to go to sleep in bed. <laughs> so we've said goodnight, we've turned to our opposite sides, and then I decide to ask every burning question I've ever thought of since I was 12. Yeah. Um, he gets yeah. furious about this. Um, yeah, that's that's probably my worst habit. I feel like mine is sometimes, uh, and oftentimes I get dead eyes listening to people because my brain doesn't stop. And so like Alicia will be talking to me, Anna will take the lot and you'll watch me just be like, and she's somewhere else. Let's bring it back, Mel. Yep. <laughs> yep. I've got like key phrases that pull her out of it. But she's it's like, and Mel's eyes are dead. She is it's elsewhere. Fine. But yeah, it's Happens. sometimes hard to stop your brain, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's impossible, right. I think it's the same. As soon as the lights go out, the monsters can move and soak in your thoughts. There's some kind of connection there. Yes. There is, right. Serendipity. Is my brain a monster? Oh, my hey. God. Hey. There we wow. go. Monster wow. brain. That sounds like a good band name. Um. <laughs> my novel is coming together in my head now, so I'll credit you guys. Yeah, this small monster like, brand. Monster brand. I'm afraid to go to sleep at night, um, and I'm exhausted. But I'm happy to finish this beer. It's been outstanding having you guys kick our butts tonight. <laughs> Thank um, you guys for, for with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This was the hardest work I've done all year. Um, <laughs> so thank you for that. You're excellent motivators. And seriously, Work For Your Beer is outstanding. You guys are looking for different cities. If you're socially active, go to Instagram, follow them, Work For Your Beer on Instagram, and check out Untapped's blog. I believe if we're lucky, we're going to see a little post on Monday yeah. Um, from you about ways to drink and get healthier while you drink, maybe something along those lines. Don't forget, next week, Greg is returning on Thursday, November 19th. He's going to be back in the hot seat interviewing Ale Sharpton. Check that out. Check this out if you're catching it too late. All this is on Untapped TV. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining us, girls. Guys. Gals? No. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gals. We're Thanks so much, it. guys. Yeah, but this is great, guys. Thanks so much. Cheers. 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 Cheers.